what's up guys this feels this feels close this is, this is close i'm gonna be showing you guys a full face of cream products today so i wanted to like get up close and personal pretty much but i recently posted a video of like all of my favorite products in each category and i actually didn't talk about any cream products because i wanted to do this video so i'm gonna be showing you guys all of my favorite cream products for oily skin and i'm gonna like apply the products and show you basically like a full face of cream product again i have oily skin so these are all products that are gonna be long wearing that are not gonna break up that are gonna just wear well with oily skin but i do feel like a lot of these products would also work on normal to dry skin so you know it's for everybody kind of <laughs> anyways there are like a couple of products that i don't have in stick form like mascara <laughs> anyways um let's do it <laughs> i'm gonna start with lip balm this is actually from milk this is the kush lip balm in the shade nug i don't think it has like that much color to it but my lips are just crusty you know for a stick product <laughs> Okay, real quick before I get started, I actually want to talk about tools real quick. So when I apply a full face of cream products, I love to use a sponge, but specifically like a very dense sponge. So something that has a little bit more firmness to it, it feels more dense, like more full, but still is like super squishy and super, you know, just awesome. <laughs> this sponge specifically is actually the one I always reach for when I do a full face of uh, cream products. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I think you can get this at Target. It's just like the beauty sponge from Sonia Kashuk. Or if you don't like to use a sponge, I would recommend like a round top kabuki brush. These are actually the ones that I normally use. This one is actually from Lexi. It's the 532 round top blender. And again, it's just got that like round top and it's like super dense and packed together. Normally you would use this to like blend out foundation and stuff. And then like a dupe for that brush that's actually a little bit more affordable is this one from Morphe. This is the M439. But again, I just like this because it's a lot more dense and it just blends out cream products better without like taking them off, you know? Anyways. <laughs> okay, so the first product. This is actually from Flesh. This is, you know what? I don't know what this is. Why don't they write it on the component? This is not okay. <laughs> anyway, this is just like a pore filling, like mattifying primer or whatever. So I normally just go straight in, um, but this is just supposed to blur pores and imperfections. I feel like it's already working. <laughs> so I normally just swipe it on and then like blend it out with my fingers. I haven't actually tried a lot of like pore filling primers or just primers at all in stick form, but I, but I really like this one, uh, which is why I never bothered to try any others. <laughs> I like this for when I'm like on the go because it's like tiny and it's easy to apply without really any tools or you know it's just easy to travel with you know it like blurs my pores but also like keeps me mattified for a little bit longer do you know what i mean for foundation i've actually tried a lot of like stick foundations and i don't like them i feel like a lot of the times they just come off really cakey and just like really heavy like the vanish stick foundation from hourglass i hated that everybody loved that foundation and i hated it it was too heavy it was too much my favorite stick foundation is actually from milk this is the flex foundation stick in the shade golden honey now when i wear cream products i don't like to layer them so i only apply my foundation where i'm not gonna put blush bronzer and highlight so i actually almost use it as a concealer only and i use it sparingly so i only apply it in the center of my face I'm actually gonna use my sponge. I actually love this because it's super creamy, but it's also like not heavy on the skin. I feel like it just looks like your skin. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel the same way about the, like the Flex Concealer because it does like the same thing. It just moves with your skin and kind of blends in without looking heavy, you know? <laughs> and I just feel like it blends out so easy. You don't have to like drag the product, you know? I realize also this is very yellow. That'll that'll come together. <laughs> anyway, and again, I feel like it's so easy to travel with stick products just because like they're not gonna break. It's not like a powder where if you pack it in your travel bag and then check it with TSA, they're not gonna break it, you know? <laughs> so when I do travel like for work or anything, I do take a lot of these stick products with me just because I feel like they're easier on the go. They always look good and they're easy to travel with you know next for bronzer i actually have a couple of products here that i wanted to show you the first one is this one from fenty i love this okay i love this just because of how long wearing it is it is super matte so if you do have dry skin this is one stick product that you're probably not gonna like because it is like very matte it drags on the skin i'm not gonna lie and i do prefer to apply this with a brush because it blends out easier that way but it is so long wearing if you have oily skin this is like a 
holy grail. These matchsticks are like it. They're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to move. And they wear just all day long, you know? And I almost feel like they look even better after my skin has gotten oily. The other product I have is this from Nude Sticks. This is actually the all over face color in the shade Bondi Bay. This is my favorite stick bronzer. I feel like it blends out so effortlessly. I don't even have to do anything. Like I feel like I pounce my sponge on it like a couple of times and it just blends out. I feel like the formula is super creamy. It is kind of a dewier formula. Like I think this is the all over face color in the matte formula, but it's not like a flat matte. So if you do have dry skin, I do feel like you would like this formula, but it still wears for a good amount of time and it just looks healthy on the skin. It doesn't look dry or cakey. And again, just like that blend, you know, like, you know, <laughs> and I do actually love this color. I did purchase uh, the other all over face color bronzer in the shade like maple or something like that, but it was way too deep. So if you are deeper than me, like much deeper than me, I think you would actually like that shade. I just didn't like how it blended out on my skin tone. It was a little bit too red for me, you know? For blush, again, the matchsticks. This is actually in the shade Ridic, and I just love this. This one is like one of their shimmery formulas. It's not like a matte blush but it is a matte formula if that makes sense so the formula is actually very dry so if you do again if you have dry skin you're not gonna like this but the formula itself actually has like I don't know micro shimmers in it so it does look like dewy on your face without being greasy or sticky and it's not gonna move and I just that shade you know, I just, I love the shade ranges in the Fenty products because they actually give you shades that are surprisingly wearable, but that you're not going to find anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, the other stick products that I absolutely love are from ColourPop. These are the blush sticks. I don't know if these are still available. Pretty sure they are. I have the shades Under Pressure and More is More. This is Under Pressure. It's like a corally pink. And again, these are matte, but they have like a shimmer to them. This is More is More and you can see More is More actually has more of a shimmer to it than the other one but again they're not gonna move they stay in place they're dewy without feeling dewy you know what I'm saying and they're affordable you know and then the last blush sticks I have are also from nude sticks you know I feel like nude like I could do a full face of nude sticks honestly because they're just, it's awesome I have the shades beach babe in the nude and sun kissed I'm actually gonna use beach babe today I just you know what I just love these I love the formula of these again they're matte but they don't look dry on the face they don't look like if you have oily skin or dry skin I feel like both can wear this formula and it just blends out so easily it looks good it wears really well that was a lot of blush <laughs> but it looks like healthy on the skin it doesn't look like a flat matte you know what I'm saying like it just looks like your skin just be like that what I love about like all of these cream products is you don't have to layer all of them okay if you only want to wear like a cream blush or bronzer you could only wear that and then just roll and it looks just like your skin like on a no makeup Makeup, makeup day like a true no makeup makeup day I would actually put on the nude sticks bronzer the nude sticks blush and then just roll you know and it's actually funny because the sponge doesn't actually soak up a lot of the product I feel like you get more for your money with a stick product because it's not being eaten up in your tools you know your application tools or whatever oh my god let's talk about highlight I'm actually surprised at how many stick highlights I have I feel like I have more stick highlights than anything else I do have this one which is a duo this is from Uma Beauty this is the double take sculpt and strobe duo stick in honey honey this is like a stick highlight or whatever that's it there and it's just oh my god this looks so beautiful on like a tan oh my god don't play with me but it also has like a, a bronzer on the other side and this bitch is pigmented okay like I mean you could tap it on your face and it would look like you're using a liquid product that's how like intense this is but it blends out so beautifully it looks so good on the skin and it wears really well on oily skin I don't feel like it's a greasy formula it's got a dewy look without the dewy feel I feel like that's the case for all of these products I do also have this one from ColourPop this is the light sticks in the shade bullseye again just beautiful gold um you know like and it just looks so smooth all of these highlights just look so smooth they're not chunky they don't accentuate texture it just looks like a natural dew or like a natural glow without moving around without looking chunky do you know what I mean I also have these from hourglass this is the 
Spanish highlight, I don't know, highlight stick in the sh in the shade Champagne Flash. Oh my god, I'm like going down my arm. That's it there. It looks a little bit icier than the ColourPop one. And I also have this one, which is more like a fun color. This is more like it for an e editorial look. This is the shade here. This is in the shade Pink Flash, and that's it there. And again, I just, you know, really just with any hourglass product so smooth okay and I do feel like hourglass works really well for mature skin or textured skin because I feel like they just do they just do textures so well hourglass products are not going to they're not going to crease okay if you have like crow's feet if you have just any fine lines any wrinkles any texture I mean I got mad pores okay these bitches and they never sink into my pores. They never accentuate my pores. I just, I feel like Hourglass does texture really well. And then the last stick highlights that I have to talk about. These are from Fenty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have so many of them. I have the shade Champagne Heist, Confetti, Beach Bum, Trippin', and Rum. Yo, we're gonna do Champagne Heist today because I just, again, I feel like all of these matchsticks, they feel dry on like when you apply them but they just wear so well you know and I just feel like these are do you see that do you see that I feel like these matchsticks were made for oily skin just because they are so dry but they give you that dewy look without adding the dewiness you know I mean it feels like a powder in stick form that's actually the best way to describe it is it's like a powder stick pretty much. So again, if you have dry skin, you're probably you're probably not going to love how this sits on the skin. I do feel like because it's so matte, it it can accentuate texture in drier skin like if you have like dry flaky skin, I feel like it will kind of like cling to the dryness, but I don't feel like this accentuates texture. It doesn't sink into my pores. It doesn't move around. It's not greasy. It actually blends out to a powder finish. I do like to use my fingers with the highlights just because I, I feel like they blend out easier that way. You know? <laughs> okay, let's do brows. Okay, this one was a little difficult, okay? And I might be cheating. I don't know. For brows, I have this. This is from Fenty. This is actually the Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil and Styler. This is not a pencil. This is like a wax stick pretty much on one side and then on the other side you have this like it's like a plastic bristle brush it's not like soft <laughs> but it's I'm pretty sure it's like designed to just like lay down them brows and give you that like laminated brow look so what I do is I actually brush the wax through my hairs and then I'll take the brush and I'll kind of use the side of the brush to brush them up and then lay their ass down against my face you know what I'm saying and like me personally I'm not really into that like laminated look or whatever so what I'll do is I'll like brush through them and then kind of shape them you know and I feel like it does like I don't know when you brush them down like this I do feel like it shapes your brows a little bit better like you can actually like lay your your hair down so that you have like a certain shape wow that's intense <laughs> and then I'll just go in with like a pencil and just fill in like sparse areas them bitches is tick though. <laughs> now I don't normally go for this look, you know, but when like, say I'm going out and I need my brows to stay in place like all day, this is, this is what I'll do. I, I, I like intense brows. I don't know why. Let's do eyeshadow. Okay. This was, this was difficult because I actually don't like shadow sticks. There actually haven't been a lot of eyeshadow sticks that I've loved just because I do feel like they're too creamy. They're too creamy and then they move around and I have greasy lids and it's just not gonna work for me, you know? But these, <laughs> these are actually from Vive, and I, I love that these are actually matte shadow sticks. They're not like shimmery or like super dewy shadow sticks, and they are like designed, like the formula was designed to stay in place for long periods of time, so I feel like they work well with my oily lids. Do you know what I mean? I'm actually going to start with the shade Sand, and I do like to take a blending brush with this that's like domed, but it also is like pretty firm and dense, so it doesn't have a lot of movement to it. Like, I don't want it to be too flimsy, because I feel like it just blends them out better, so I'm going to start with the shade Sand, and I'm actually just going to use this as like a base, and then I'm going to build on this. I do feel like I could also use this to like conceal in my inner corner here because I have a little bit of darkness there. You know, really, this shade I could probably use as a concealer. That's crazy. 
<laughs> and it would probably work because they're like creaseless. I'm gonna take the next shade in Camel and I'm gonna apply this kind of like a transition shade. I'm gonna be careful though because these are like super pigmented and I don't wanna apply too much too fast. And also I wanna be careful not to add like too much product to my lids because I feel like the more product you add, the more creasing you have going on. But like specifically with this formula, I feel like once this sets, it sets. And that's it, you know? <laughs> and again, I actually prefer like matte shadow sticks just because like if I'm doing a look on the go, I'm not trying to like add all this glitter and shimmer and shit, you know? Like, And I feel like, you know, it just gives you like a natural contour to your eyes. It's not like, you know? I also feel like a full matte shadow look just looks a little bit more sophisticated. Like I'm grown. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take the shade Hazelnut and I'm just gonna do the outer corners. And again, I've actually been using the same brush for all of these. I feel like stick products are like a mom's best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have time. <laughs> Like if I were to do this look without like talking a million miles a minute, <laughs> like if I would just shut up <laughs> and do my makeup, I feel like this look would take me, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 minutes for a full face, okay? And the part that would take the longest would be my brows, cause them bitches is, you know? I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, you could actually finish this look off with lipstick. And really, any lipstick would do. My favorites are the MAC lipsticks, y'all already know. I also have this one from Huda Beauty. This is actually, like, one of my favorite lipsticks. It's, like, my perfect nude. And this is actually super long-wearing. It's super matte, but it doesn't feel super matte on your lips. It actually feels like you have powder on your lips. And you forget you even have it on there. And I timed us it. So this is what the skin looks like. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does look like my skin. This is no powder whatsoever. And it does look dewy but it's not like dewy to the touch. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's not sticky, it's not greasy, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide off. This would actually wear really well on a hot day or like if you're out, you're sweating or you're in the pool. You know, this is actually the face that I would apply because I'm wearing makeup without looking like I'm wearing too much makeup, you know? Does it? I don't know. <laughs> but again, if it's like a hot day, I would actually prefer to wear a full face of cream like this because it does honestly feel like just one layer of makeup rather than like packing on powders on top of powders on top of powders. I do feel like you can actually set this with the setting spray and it would it would wear pretty well because honestly, I was surprised. A face full of cream products is not gonna last very long, but you'd be surprised. But that's it. I was gonna film my favorites today, but I just felt like it's too early to film my favorites. You know, I still have have about a week left in the month and I just don't want to you know I don't want to film that early so you guys are probably gonna get my favorites next week which I hope isn't too late but you know it's whatever's you know that's it I hope you guys enjoyed subscribe and stay tuned <laughs> this feels like an invasion of privacy like I wish there was vodka in this should I put vodka in it no I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Oily skin, things are gonna be, think, blah, 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 things that are gonna be, I need to slow down. <laughs> this is the Flex Foundation and, uh, this is the Flex, <laughs> 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 gotta get the mustache, you know? I do feel like I applied more on that side than I did on this side, but you know, we're here, so. <laughs> and then the lash blush, 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 blush the lash blush sticks. <laughs> it's matte again, it's, it's, what is it? <laughs> I feel like the, the cake, I, uh, 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 oh my God, I have stuff all over me. I'm gonna get this all over my shirt. Yo. Are you still filming? Yes, I am. Oh, I was gonna ask you for peanut butter and jelly. Okay, almost done. I promise. Okay, this is, this is, like my brow hairs are in it. And on the other side, you have one of these like little, ew, this looks dirty. It's awesome, mossy. All right, well, I just don't have time to clean it right now, so we're just gonna roll with it. By going over here, so I'm gonna go Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> I need to trim my brows. Like, what's happening here, you know? I don't know why I'm like this. There actually haven't been a lot of like shimmer, or not shimmer. Oh my God, I have like no clean brushes. What am I gonna do? It's like, I thought, okay, cream, uh, 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 uh